The Georgian government's draft law was dropped as quickly as it was introduced after two days of violent protests in the streets. The text said organisations receiving more than 20% of their funding from abroad would have to register as foreign agents. The bill received strong opposition as it resembled a Russian law adopted in 2012 which silenced critics in the media. This triggered mass protests across the country's capital. For two nights, police violently dispersed crowds with tear gas, stun grenades and water cannons. But protesters were unwilling to back down, waving Georgian flags and setting cars on fire as they barricaded the streets. Georgia's ruling party withdrew the law to reduce confrontation in society, but claims it was badly represented and plans to launch public consultations to better explain its purpose. Opposition parties responded saying protests would continue until the government formally denounced the bill. President Zurabishvili, who condemned it from the start, had vowed to veto the text. The path of European integration should be protected. Those who support this law, all those who voted for this law, are all violating the Constitution. They are driving us away from Europe. 75% of Georgians hope to be granted EU membership, but the European Commission warned that passing the law would hinder the country's application for EU candidate status. This law is incompatible with EU values and standards. It goes against Georgia's stated objective of joining the European Union as supported by a large majority of Georgian citizens. Its final adoption may have serious repercussions on our relations. This morning, the EU delegation in Georgia praised the ruling party after the withdrawal of the law.